All right, here's just a quick update on my uh, 3040 T CNC. Um, if you have one of these, you know that they, they use these, I think they're 12 millimeter linear rods for the Z axis. And with these short runs, they actually work better than the longer runs on the X and the Y axis. And I think these are 16 millimeter rods, but uh, one of the problems that I'm having is I'm not really fond of this uh, underpowered 200 watt spindle. I would like to upgrade to like a DeWalt 611 or 660 or something along that line. Uh, yeah, I know it's going to be a lot noisier, but the power is there so I can deal with it. However, the, uh, the Z-axis carriage and the spindle clamp are one piece and I don't really feel comfortable cutting this because I don't have like a, a bandsaw or anything to do that with and I don't really feel that I'll get a nice true face here so I just recently picked up a, a mono price select mini 3d printer and I tried to remake the z-axis carriage to ride on these rods and these uh, linear bushings aren't too bad actually they're they're pretty pretty stable on these rods I mean they go on real tight there's not much slop but as you can see even though I have captive nuts you know little spots for the nuts here it just splits as soon as I get it anywhere near tight and then it's not very, the clamp itself is not very uh, sturdy. It's got a lot of flex in it. And that's printed with 80% infill. So I decided that I would tear apart my old uh, CNC machine that I had made three or four years ago. And that was just uh, using a, a Proxon MF70 table or MF90, something like that. So I, I didn't have a Z-axis for it, so I bought these uh, THK linear bearings, and these have almost no, I mean, it's like a couple of tenths maybe. Uh, there's nothing really in the slop side to side or, you know, anyway, but what I want. So I just uh, 3D printed a new holder. To go in here to mount my uh, THK linear bearings, and I've tested with a uh, uh, test indicator. Let me grab that here. My test indicator, or dial indicator, whatever you want to call it, uh, to see how much runout I had uh, across my my bearing if I was if I needed to tram it anyway and they are within uh, one hundredth of a millimeter so that's that's pretty good I'm not going to complain about that I'm going to I have more slop in just the carriage of the X and Y so that's I'm gonna have to upgrade these eventually um, I think it's mostly my y-axis down here. You can kind of see just, a, I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of hear it. And that's mostly in my y-axis. My, my uh, x-axis is pretty stable. Now my z-axis will be fairly good too. So I just need to make the mount here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this from the machine and reattach the original Z-axis with this crappy underpowered spindle to make it out of like 12 mil plywood or something like that to actually get the clamp and the mount here as well as uh, the coupler to the the nut here but I just figured I'd give you a quick update on what's going on and 
hopefully by the next video this won't even you know I can just kind of toss him away but uh, this is probably the third rendition of this that I tried and again as these bushings worked really well it just it just didn't have the stability in the printed part and this is ABS so I'm not not real familiar with printing ABS yet but yeah just go go with what I can so I'll see you guys next time